Our next guest has an acting career spanning nearly four decades. Wow. Ah, yes. So we know Wendell Pierce for his roles on the small screen as Detective Monk Moreland in The Wire and on the big screen as civil rights activist Jose Williams in Selma. Detective Monk still one of my favorite characters. You were just television. talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now Mr. Pierce has returned to Broadway, and it is an amazing historic revival of the classic Death of a Salesman with the first ever black Loman family at center stage. And of course, he plays Willie Loman. Mm. That's my yes. favorite stage play of all time. Oh, thank so you. excited to come and see you. And I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. Thank you very so, much. So just give give us and our viewers a glimpse in into this this remade version mm. of Death of a Salesman. Well, we are doing Death of a Salesman. We are doing the play, but everything is heightened. Uh, the the pursuit of the insurmountable uh, attainment of the American dream that Arthur Miller was um, examining in the play is heightened because it's an African-American family in 1949. Mm. And we all know uh, all the obstacles that were placed in front of those, uh, uh, those communities uh, at that time. And so uh, everything in the play that spoke to people 70 plus years ago speaks to us today even more. Uh, it's a deeper dive. It, 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 it envelops even more of the pain and the anguish that uh, Willie Loman goes through and the psychological self-destruction mm -hmm. that happens. Um, it it, it uh, magnifies and amplifies all the themes that Arthur Miller put in the play in the mm -hmm. beginning. I want to talk about your dad. He's 97 years old. Yes. You, you flew him in yes. for the show. Uh, what is it like for him? I know you thanked him for the gift of love and mm -hmm. time. But, yes. I mean, how, how did this resonate with him? Uh, to think that my father came to New York in 1947 to study photography. Ooh. Two years before the play was written. Uh, he fought in Saipan in World War II. Wow. Uh, fought for the country that he loves uh, mm -hmm. at a time when the country didn't love him back. Mm -hmm. And he is emblematic of what Willie Loman was going through wow. at the time. And for him to know that he has gotten to a place and fought for his family mm -hmm. to make sure that he had gave us a wonderful life that he can see his son, his youngest son, now center stage on Broadway yeah. playing one of the most iconic roles in the American canon that all that he had sacrificed and had done was important, and I wanted to honor him that night mm -hmm. of my opening. 97 years old, Man. Uh, and he was, uh, he was just moved and touched as oh, I was. Oh, I was able to kiss him goodness. and love him. And uh, oh. To, oh. to know that at these golden years in his life that he was mm -hmm. able to see that, that all the sacrifice and mm. the work yeah. and the dedication oh, and... Goodness. Uh, that's was, everything. It that's paid everything. off. That's what it's all about. Speaking of support, I was just looking at the name. So many of your film and TV co-stars have, have supported you. Come to see the show. Michael J. Fox, yes. Angela Bassett, John Krasinski, to name a few. What has the reaction been like even backstage or just for you? Uh, it, it's great. You know, uh, uh, Sharon D. Clark is, uh, is playing Linda Lohman. Uh, she lives in London. She said one of the things I... I really love about this production. We did it in London before. She said, so many of your mates are coming back. <laughs> That's great. Uh, which That's was really great. great. And, you know, you're in a community of artists that have come. You know, Jessica Chastain came the other mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really wonderful to see that people are coming, one, to see this great play, and then, two, to support an actor who is given an opportunity to uh, play this iconic role, Willie Loman. Yeah. It happens once in a generation, every mm. only 10 years, every 10 years. Uh, and I am humbled and honored Great. to be the, the person that will be able to leave their mark on this generation's uh, incarnation sure. of Death of a Salesman mm -hmm. on Broadway. You've also got like 16 other things you're working on as well. <laughs> so we should talk about uh, James Green. Uh, yes. You're, you're back. You're, uh, as I understand, you're back yes, for another we're season. We're back for another season. Uh, you know, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan yeah. uh, on Amazon. And uh, we uh, we start December 21st. Okay. And this is, uh, I've been living in Budapest. I was uh, wondering Hungary. how much uh, travel you have to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've been uh, living in Budapest, working in Vienna and Prague oh, and Athens goodness. and Rome. You know, so it's a really, it's, uh, it's an awful job. It's, yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing about Wendell Pierce, range. Like I mean, you, do you still play the trombone, too? I know you I, I play like a fifth grader. I, I, you know, I had yeah. to learn. I that's was in awesome. New Orleans, you know, so I tried to, uh, oh, tried to do it. Wendell, Wendell Pierce. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. you can catch Death of a Salesman on Broadway at the Hudson Theater uh, for a limited time. It's going to be there for a few more months. We'll be there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or 
click the link right here.